New information about the deadly school shooting that left a small Georgia community grieving. Now, we told you that two students and two teachers were killed. It was the 23rd time this year that a school shooting resulted in injuries or deaths. And that's not including the deadly shooting at a school in Joppa Town, Maryland. Dave Malkoff spoke to the grandfather of the 14 year old Georgia shooter who offered new information about what happened that morning. The maternal grandfather of accused shooter Colt Gray is dealing with conflicting emotions, love for his grandson and disgust over the crime he's accused of committing. He pulled the triggers. He killed people and I, he's my grandson and it breaks my damn heart. The 14 year old who has not yet entered a plea was charged Friday with involuntary manslaughter and second degree murder. New tonight, CBS News has learned of a text message between the suspect and his mother, Marcy Gray, on the morning of the mass shooting. Marcy got a text on the phone from Colt saying, I'm sorry, mother. And then we heard on the news of the shooting. The family has also revealed that Colt's maternal grandmother was at the school the day before the shooting. They were having some problems with him not going to school and this kind of thing. The Georgia Bureau of Investigation says the boy's father, Colin Gray, bought the AR-style rifle for his teen, the same type of weapon seen laying on the floor inside the school the day of the shooting. Since Wednesday's tragedy, there have been a wave of threats across Georgia. Law enforcement officials have now arrested more than 13 juveniles and one adult accused of making threats to schools in at least eight different counties. Friday, the FBI deemed the majority of the social media threats non-credible and warned posts like these will be investigated and prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. Dave Malkoff, CBS News, Winder, Georgia.